Hello everybody and welcome back to the Leicester City story with me, Velocity Gaming, and we are carrying on from where I said in the Bournemouth game today, we'll be playing Bournemouth who are, where are they in the league? Yep, bottom half, 18th in the league, so hopefully we can get a good result against them. Since we last met, a couple of things have happened, uh, I'll show you the schedule in a second, but if you just look at this screen we see we're 9th in the league at the moment, our overall balance is pretty rubbish, but if we look at the schedule, uh, you might see there, a bit of a penalty win against Everton. So that was good. We, we drew against Norwich, first of all, in the league. Very disappointing draw. Should have won, really. Uh, went behind. Riyad Mahrez saved us, but annoying to draw against Norwich. Uh, and then this game. This is a game where I wish my camera was recording, my software was recording it, because we managed to win a penalty shootout. And you see two... You know, we took the lead of 44 minutes. Aruna Kone, 83. Leon Osman, 103. And Jeffrey Schlupp, 105, plus one minute scored. And in the shootout, it was De La Feu that missed, and we scored all of our penalties. Everton dominated the game, but we still managed to snatch the win, which I am delighted with. Uh, playing a very kind of reserve side, you see a few good performances from some of our younger players. Players like Callum Templeton played quite well. Um, so today, as I said, Bournemouth versus Man uh, for Bournemouth and Man United. Sorry, not versus Man United. Just showing you a completely different team play. Um, and I have decided now. I think because we're through to the semi-final against Tottenham, we're actually going to next. Our next video will be Newcastle. Tottenham and whoever we get in the FA Cup third round hopefully for a quite simple draw to help us get through but we're not going to play Arsenal, Liverpool or Arsenal some people might be a bit annoyed about that but I just don't see us getting any any results out of that so I'd rather I'd rather show us playing well than see us losing basically a bit of a pathetic way to explain it but I'm sure you understand what I mean but for now the more pressing matters we have Bournemouth to play so let me talk you through to the team for today very similar team to what you're used to uh, Kasper Michael starts in net, uh, Gino Peruzzi, Robert Huth, uh, Wes Morgan, Christian Fuchs, Damari Gray, uh, Danny Drinkwater, uh, N'Golo Kante, uh, Riyad Mahrez, I don't know why I'm doing it in completely the wrong order, my mouse is just not keeping up, but yeah, Riyad Mahrez starts on the left, uh, Okazaki in that defensive forward role, and Jamie Vardy in the poacher role, hoping just to grab him some goals, because he's not scored for quite a while, so let's get into the game and see how my tactical switch there works out for old Jamie Vardy. So here we go against the beautiful pink kits of Bournemouth as they kick off. That's just a horrible kit. Why is it so pink? Why is it so pink? But as I said, they're not doing very well in the league. They're 18th, so I'm hoping for a bit of a smash and grab here. Get get the result we need, get the win. Put us back on the right track after some, some disappointing results, the, the draws and the losses in the recent games. As I said, we've only won one in six now, excluding the, the cup competitions. So really not the form we need to be in. So I'm hoping we can get a good result here against Bournemouth. Uh, but so far nothing happening, so that might be, have been uh, proved wrong already. Um, yeah, all that's happened is Huth's been in trouble with the referee, and we've committed four fouls. We've, we've committed more fouls than we have had shots, so that sums up our game so far. And I really don't want another draw on camera. That'd be really annoying. I'm going to tell them to get creative, because we're just not creating anything. I mean, we can't have that exciting game against Everton and not record it and then record this and draw nil-nil with Bournemouth. That's just not not something that can happen really. I'm not allowing it. I'm not having it. So we have our first highlight here. Christian Fuchs throws it into Mares. Back to Fuchs. Can he find a cross? No, he gives it straight to Junior Stanislas. But Morgan managed to get it back to him and he gives it straight to Harry Arter. I don't know what is wrong with Christian Fuchs at the moment but I th we're definitely looking for a left back in, in, in January. Just someone who can get rid of Fuchs because he's been awful. I don't want to say it another way, but he's been awful this season. He's not contributed attackingly, he's been poor defensively, he's been at fault for a lot of our goals conceded. And like, just, just as you saw there, he's just not showing the quality he has. Compared to, you know, young players like Damari Graves. Mahrez gets in the... I was too busy talking there. Mahrez kicked in the free kick and Jamie Vardy there with his first goal in about 12 hours of football. Finally, he scored a goal. We need Jamie Vardy to start gaining the goals more often, and that's the perfect start to that. Once again, from a set piece, he seems to be good again on the end of set pieces, despite not being the tallest guy. So here you go, Mahrez whips it in, Vardy finds that pocket of space between the zonal marking of the uh, of the box and the man trying to mark him. So, good movement, good header, good goal. 1-0 to Leicester, at home to Bournemouth. That made me more excited than it should, because it's only Bournemouth, and we were only winning 1-0 as we go into half time. Very very boring game so far. I'm not gonna uh, I'm not gonna lie. Christian Fuchs has a throw in here to Okazaki. Back to Fuchs. Can he finally do something creative? He can! 
There we go, he's finally helped us out. As Jamie Vardy gets his second of the game. That's more like it. Christian Fuchs with a good cross there. Obviously listening to me berating him. Okazaki held it up well. Back to Fuchs. Did the defender get the last touch? No, it looks like Jamie Vardy just might have got the last touch. Although the defender might have kicked it against him. So It's not it's not how they go in. It's the fact they go in. So 2-0 at half time. That's more like it. Uh, happy with that. Hopefully we can add a few more in the second half. Um, just going to tell them I'm happy with them. Oh look, extremely delighted. I don't really tell them I'm happy with them, happy with them enough. I don't give them enough positive reinforcements. So when I do, they just absolutely love it. They go mad for it. So hopefully we can carry on where we left off in the in the first half. Just press Bournemouth as much as we can. Get into their faces, basically. Create a few chances. Score a few goals. Do some damage. We really need to get our goal difference in check, though, because as you saw, we're minus three goal difference. This will take us back to minus one, because I can do math. Can you do math? I don't think you can. As Sermon almost gets a shot there, well, he does get a shot. He almost got a shot on target, I should say. Uh, there's a good chance of a ball, but they've actually had two clear-cut chances, and we've only had one half chance. So I presume that means that the defender did kick it against Jamie Vardy, otherwise I think it would have counted as a half chance, but... Yeah, that's a bit worrying that they seem to have any, be having more of the chances than we do. More of the good chances, I should say. As Christian Fuchs there heads it straight to Ariata. Huth manages to get there, but then it ping-pongs around to Junior Stanislas, who puts the ball through for Callum Wilson. He better not score. He, I, I actually considered buying him in, in the summer uh, before the season started. There's Pugh here. Pugh scores the goal. It's 2-1. That's... I mean, Bournemouth are actually coming onto us now, and they're actually playing really well. This better not be a 2-2, because otherwise I'm going to scream. As Peruzzi there just misses the ball completely. Can't blame Schmeichel there from that close angle. Pew managed to get it into the corner. Good finish by him. We're actually going to go back to counter-attacking because I don't want to be caught on the counter, basically. And the way to counter a counter is to counter-attack. I think. That made sense in my head. It might not have made sense anywhere else, but in my head it made sense. So uh, this result would put it in 8th, which is looking a bit better than it was a few uh, few games ago. Where we drop down to sort of 11th and 10th, so as we drop down to 9th, as I say that, as Watford. Oh no, uh, yeah, Chelsea take the lead against Norwich. I thought Watford. Watford are beating Man United, which is which is a good result for them, but uh, yeah, uh, Norwich uh, losing to Chelsea, which puts Chelsea above us, which drops us down to 9th. I'm just talking about anything but the game, because it's been boring so far. Um, I think we're going to bring. Yeah, I'm going to take Okazaki off. Uh, put Morris up front and bring Mark Albrighton on. He's a bit more creative than Okazaki's been so far and he works hard so he can contribute defensively. Christian Fuchs finally having an average game as Bournemouth come forward with a phobie, plays it through to a Turby. And Sermon's there. Sermon has had two brilliant chances and they've had four clear-cut chances and three half chances against us. They've had 13 shots in all. I mean, <coughs> I kept saying it's been a good performance and it's a good result, but actually... It might be a good result, but it's been a terrible performance. So we're going to bring Mamada on for Wes Morgan, who's not having the best of games, just to hopefully cover that defensive problem we've got. As Bournemouth just have more and more shots and more and more chances, and this is getting a bit worrying in terms of, as here they have another one, as the corner comes in, Fuchs clears it. Damari Gray, can we counter now? He plays it forward to Riyad Mahrez. Heads it back to Damari Gray, not the best header, but he manages to get it back to Mahrez. Mahrez here, crosses it into Albrighton. Albrighton with a shot, maybe? From a, I mean, why is he shooting from that angle? He had a good angle at first, but he managed to get forced wide by the defenders who, who held up to him well. But he shouldn't be taking a shot from that angle. That's that's poor, really. As Gray here heads it back, Mares manages to win it. Back to Damari Gray. Can he find someone? Danny Drinkwater. Uh, N'Golo Kante here. Back to Drinkwater. No one's really making runs into the middle. As Prutzi almost finds Vardy, and now Bournemouth could counter attack with a Derby. Here he comes. We need to get back as quick as possible. Pew here on this left-hand side. Crosses it in. Kante's there. Drinkwater's there. We've managed just to not get it clear. Phoebe here. He's got a score. He plays it through, but Fuchs is there just about to clear it. And that was another good chance for Bournemouth. And we're going contained and we're going highly structured because we're not... We're just not in the game at all. And Bournemouth have just come forward and forward. And a Phoebe there had a good chance to get one on target, but just puts it wide. And and this hasn't been a good performance. I want to say, you know, it's been a fantastic result and yeah, it's great to get the points, but the performance has been poor. And that's that's worrying really. Against a team that are eighteenth in the league and we're going for well, we're going for Champions League places, that's not what we need. Is it full time here, but 
you know, two goals for Jamie Vardy is the main positive, but I'm not gonna I'm gonna tell him I'm unhappy because that's just not good enough, basically. That's all I can really say. It's just not good enough. But look at the stats. Born with seventeen shots to our eleven, seven on target. We had a bit more possession, but that's still I mean, they're eighteenth in the league. They've only won three games this season and they gave us a good old a good old push to the line, so yeah, not particularly happy with that. So we'll move on as quickly as possible. So things aren't looking very rosy at the moment. The squad are unhappy with me because basically Jamie Vardy had a bit of a hissy fit because I laid into them at the end of the Bournemouth game and he thought he'd done really well. So he, he came to discuss my team talks with me and I basically told him to clear off and I'm going to do it my way. Um, and now he's brought the whole squad involved who are all on my side except Jamie Vardy. So... Yeah, very disappointed with his behaviour. He's facing an uncertain future, so... Yeah, this could get quite tasty. So, yeah. That's that's not going well. I'm actually going to drop him to under 21, so cheaper to teach him a lesson. Take that, Jamie Vardy. Right, so here we are for the Man United game. Uh, after Jamie Vardy's antics to try and get our squad in trouble. So, this is going to be a very tough game again. Away, away from home to Man United. Let me talk you through the team here. Uh, it's a pretty pretty standard team really. No one no one major changes. Uh, obviously Jamie Vardy unhappy with us at the moment, but I've kept him in the side just to try and appeal appeal to him a little bit. Um, so yeah, as as you'd expect, as you can see, minor issue. Doesn't like being placed in the under 21s because that was his punishment. So obviously he's not going to like that. But yeah, apart from that, standard team: Schmeichel, Peruzzi, Huth, Morgan, Fuchs. Uh, Damari Gray, Drinkwater, Kante, Mares, Okazaki and Vardy. I was actually just contemplating swapping Jeffrey Schlupf for Fuchs, but we'll we'll leave it how it is, and hopefully we can grab a result against Man United. So here we are, at the Theatre of Dreams against Man United, Old Trafford, Leicester versus Man United. Again, similar to the Chelsea game, I'm not expecting a lot from this game, expecting a loss, but we're going to give it our best. We're playing a counter-attacking style to try and uh, just snatch a goal on the break basically but Man United here with some pressure Memphis to pay perhaps he's got to close him down he does he does well there actually uh, out to Jamie Vardy but Jones gets there first to Michael Carrick what's he going to do he plays it back to Schweinsteiger out wide to Luke Shaw Damari Gray covered well there but didn't quite manage to get the tackle in as Luke Shaw breaks in Schmeichel's there to cover his near post good covering from Damari Gray there shame he couldn't actually stick a tackle in but it's good to see him working hard and trying to help his He's right back out as Bastian Schweinsteiger pulls back Kante and gets away without a yellow card, which is a bit a bit dodgy, really. It's a bit of a cynical tackle to try and stop him breaking forward. But we'll we'll let it go. We'll let it slide. So we're managing to seem to seemingly restrict the chances they've had so far. Fifteen minutes in. Not a whole lot happening. But Darmian here with a throw into Young. Uh back to Carrick after we clear it to Luke Shaw, who's appeared it's centre back for some reason, not quite sure why. Uh, getting across back to his normal position now. Jamie Vardy there goes to close down De Gea. Uh, Rooney heads it back to Ander Herrera, back to Ashley Young. Can he get across in? Looks like he can. Rooney's there. Memphis. I mean, again, which is we're not marking and we're not closing anyone down, so of course they're going to score goals. I mean, again, Fuchs doesn't close down, close down the crosser. No one marks Rooney, and then no one marks Memphis. So. I mean, I don't know what I'm supposed to do. They're meant to, I've told them to mark tightly, but... I mean, no one's marking Rooney there. And Peruzzi has no idea where he is. And and Schmeichel, who looks more like Joe Hart there than anything, just just doesn't manage to get across in time. So... Just a poor goal all around, really. Um, and Man United take the lead, which is the worst bit. Um, yeah, I mean, as I said, I didn't expect a lot from this game. Man United, similar to Man City, very high-quality squad and uh, apparently Jamie Vardy suffered a dead leg don't care, he can stay out and play on after his antics he's got to prove himself now to the Leicester fans as Fuchs makes a good interception there Jamie Vardy here with his dead leg hopping around, plays it through to Okazaki can Okazaki hold it up? He does he plays it back to Jamie Vardy, out wide to Mares. Mares, I, I don't know if that was a shot or a cross but it was blocked either way And Smalling plays a good ball out to Herrera here who plays in Memphis to pay on this left hand side with a lovely diagonal ball and Memphis scores 2-0 to Man United. Dem uh, Memphis to pay with two. Good diagonal ball there from Ander Herrera, actually. Lovely uh, crossfield ball. And Memphis takes it in his stride. Doesn't even have to break his stride to get onto that. And right foot, outside of the right foot, into the uh, right-hand corner of the net. 
Schmeichel maybe should have done a bit better, but can't really blame him there. It was a good, good hard low shot. The worst for a goalkeeper to deal with. So we really need to do something now to get back into this game, because otherwise it's just going to fall away from us as so many games have before. The West Ham, the Tottenham game, the Chelsea game, where we just we just let it slip. Now, as you see, I just wanted to break the uh, the match there to look at Christian Fritz. His average rating is 6.48, which I don't know why he's still on the pitch, to be honest. Uh, that's probably why, actually. Yeah. That's... <laughs> Why? Why does he? Why does he always prove me wrong as I insult him like that? Every time I contemplate dropping him, he plays in a lovely free kick there from this right-hand side, slips everyone's attention, and Kante's there. Darmian misses his header, and Kante slips it in. De Gea gets a hand to it, but can only steer it in really. And it's two-one. We might be back in the game now, lads. Good, good, good free kick, good finish. Let's see what we can do with it in the second half as we get to half-time. Two-two-one down against Man United at Old Trafford. Had a good first half. Um, I'm going to tell them to keep going and they can still win. No one really cares, it seems, but hey, we did our best. So, as you can the morale's not bad. Average ratings up and down across the board. Kante obviously has the best rating after scoring the goal so late in the first half. I mean, a draw here would still be good. Um, obviously, we wanted wins, but a draw here would take us back up to sort of seventh place with Chelsea. Uh, obviously, below them because of our appalling goal difference at the moment. In terms of the match, not too many chances from either side. Man United, as you'd expect, having all the possession. Seven shots for them, four on target. We've had five shots and one on target and scored with it, so that was good. As they get thrown here, Schweinsteiger into Ander Herrera. He takes a shot, Schmeichel with a good save. A smart stop down to his left-hand side. And perhaps we could counter here. Okazaki's not got too many options, no one's really running for him. As Jamie Vardy receives it now, plays it out to Damari Gray. Can he get past his man? He can, can he? No, Shaw manages to... Oh, he brings him down. Okay. Um, nothing comes from the free kick anyway, so... That was disappointing, wasn't it? Got all excited then for nothing. So Wes Morgan here plays it out to Riyad Mahrez on this left-hand side. Can he create something? Okazaki here into the box. Takes a shot against Smalling. Probably should have taken a shot from there. It was a bit close to him, really. So we're going to make a few substitutions. Uh, Riyad Mahrez is coming off for Albright. He's not great enough, really. And Wes Morgan has a, another poor game, which is which is annoying. You can see young Callum Templeton, after his good performance against Everton in the Cup, is on the bench. Our backup right back now. I think uh, because Liam Moore's been injured, who would be our backup right back? In place of Danny Simpson, who is also injured, who would be our backup right back? So essentially we've got four right backs and three of them are injured. Uh, which is annoying because if Gino Peruzzi gets injured, then obviously we're a bit, we're a bit stuck. Um, so let's fingers crossed that doesn't happen, essentially. Um, Seventy minutes gone, two one down. I mean, I could go attacking, but they have they've had so much possession. I, I don't feel comfortable going attacking. I don't see. I think it's just going to lead to more problems for us when Man United can then hit us on the break. Actually, forget it. We're going attacking. We need a goal. I, I reasoned with myself and I reasoned with myself and then decided to change it anyway. Not really any more substitutions we can make that will probably affect the game. Um, we might see what we can do. We'll uh, passionately encourage the lads. Uh, so when I said Gino Peruzzi can't get injured, I didn't actually want him to then get injured. Oh, that's gone so wrong. <laughs> that's gone so wrong. Callum Templeton now makes his Premier League debut. I mean, I'm not annoyed because Callum Templeton is making his debut, but I was just saying Peruzzi can't get injured. Uh, what does he decide to do? Get injured. So that's worked out well, hasn't it? Um, yeah, that's not that's not great, really. Because as I said, most of our backup right backs are injured, and that's going to be the end of the game. Two one to Man United. Two goals for Memphis to pay. One for Kante for us. We did well. I can't say we didn't do well there to drag it back to two one. Uh, it was a loss, obviously, but it was a close loss. Man United had all the shots, more on target, all the possession. We only had one shot on target from eight. Uh, so yeah, Man United deserve to win the game, but I think we put in a decent performance, a performance we can be slightly proud of. Uh, how long is he out for? Please don't be long, please don't be long, please, he's out for five weeks. Four to five weeks, that's, uh, that's fantastic. We're going to struggle now, because I don't really have anyone that can play at right back. I mean, I've got some people that can cover, but I haven't got an out and out right back, so it might be that Callum Templeton suddenly gets thrust into the Premier League limelight, unexpectedly, but... 
uh, we'll have to decide. I mean, I'm going to leave him to the physio. I don't want to play him through the pain. Roy Hodgson was there to see our our players fail. See Wayne Rooney, obviously, as well. And that's a good screen to leave it on, actually. This is the end of the video. But apparently we are impressing at Leicester. We've won 50% of our games. 10 wins from 20. Uh, 31 goals scored. Um, 29 conceded. So if we do a review of the episode, obviously we started against Bournemouth. Two, a narrow 2-1 win against Bournemouth and then a, a narrow 2-1 loss to Man United so on the balance I think they worked themselves out so as I said last time we'll be playing Newcastle, Tottenham and Swansea who we drew in the FA Cup third round which should be a good game I was hoping for an easier tie but we'll have a go we'll give it a, our best shot so we'll be skipping the Arsenal-Liverpool Arsenal and Aston Villa game uh, just in terms of I don't think we're going to get any results out of those three games and I'd, I'd rather I think those three games with two cups are going to be more exciting anyway after that, not 100% sure what game I'll do after that, I'll leave it up to you really, um, or if I suddenly decide I want to play a particular game, perhaps the semi-final second leg against Tottenham will be involved at some point. So there's the table, we're currently ninth. not much changes from, from what we've seen. If we have a little quick look at the squad at this point, uh, in terms of the last five games, Quite poor performances overall. Uh, Vardy seems to be the best, despite his bad attitude. Okazaki there, quite high as well. And Drink Waters done all right. A lot of people doing all right, but also a lot of people doing quite poorly. Especially Christian Fuchs there, 6.46, not good enough really. In terms of goals, Jamie Vardy, our top scorer, uh, assists. Omar Colbrighton still our top assist maker. Um, so unsurprised. Uh, I mean, surprisingly, he's not in England intention, but I guess that. Uh, Simulates real life that players play well, don't get in the England squad. So, there you go. So, Demari Gray, our highest average rating of the season. Is he? Wait. Am I missing someone here? Yeah, I think I must be. Oh, because Kante's suspended. That's great, isn't it? Yeah, Kante, our, our highest rating is 7.26. So, yeah, that's going to bring us to the end of the video. Uh, thanks very much for watching, and I will see you next time.